I was recently asked at a Club Cubase user group uh, for someone who's doing classical recording, where they're recording multiple movements into the same project. And what they wanted to do was to easily split each of those movements to individual files when they did a mix down. And there's some features in Cubase Pro 9 that could really make this process easier. And this could also go be used for like a live concert recording where everything is kind of done within one single project for multiple pieces. So when we look at this, we can say, okay, we're going to have four movements here for this classical piece. And if I did an export audio mix down, uh, in a lot of programs, I would have to select the range, export, select the next set of range, export individually. And that could be tedious, especially if you have a live concert with 15, 16 songs. So Cubase Pro 9 added some functionality for this that could really kind of uh, make the process more streamlined through the use of cycle markers. So the first thing we want to do is go to our track list here and we want to right click and add a marker track. So we just come right there, right click and we can choose add marker track and we can have multiple marker tracks. So, but for this we want to, uh, we're just going to use one marker track. Now markers, there's two separate types of markers. There's an individual marker, um, but there's also cycle markers. And cycle markers can define a range. Now one great keyboard shortcut that a lot of people miss is when you select an event, you could hit the letter P, like for part, and that will set the left and right locator around the selected event. So that's a great shortcut, but this also, once that range has been defined, you could use this, and if you click right here, just to the icon where you see two little markers to the left of the word marker, uh, you could insert a cycle marker. Um, if you want to, you could go to your key commands under transport, uh, and then once you go under transport, there's also uh, insert cycle marker based on selection. So if you wanted to make your own uh, marker uh, key command, you could do that as well. So I'm going to come here and just define. So I'm going to select that, hit the letter P, and then I could just again do this for each of my movements, and it's going to insert a cycle marker uh, around the selected range just like so. Now many times you may want to actually name the cycle markers something that's appropriate, whether it's the name of the song. So once you have the marker track selected here, uh, you can see your marker tracks here. So we have four different movements here. And then I could click on the E button and this will bring up our uh, marker editor. So at this point I could just kind of type in the name of my movements or my songs. Let's say I want to call this Allegro. Uh, we'll call this next one on Dante. I'll just make up form here. Uh, let's say I want this to be Allegro Molto and maybe Allegro Vivace. That sounds good. All right, so now I've labeled each of my cycle markers accordingly. So what I want to do now is go to my file menu and choose to go to export and we could actually now do our audio mix down. Now with Cubase Pro 9, one of the things that was uh, handed down from like a version of Nuendo was this ability to export based on the cycle markers. So I'm going to make sure that this is checked and then once I do this I could now just carry over and check each of the cycle markers. Again, it could be for each movement or for each uh, song in a live set. So now there's this little thing called naming scheme. And what this would allow you to do is you could actually have different naming configurations for the files. So in this case, I just wanted to have the cycle marker name. So what I want to do is just see right here, we can see our cycle marker name. And then what I want to do is I'm gonna select that. So now the name of the audio file is automatically gonna be derived from the cycle marker names, the Allegro's and Dante's that I typed in. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I want to export this directly into my same audio track. I could choose my path exactly where I want the files to be saved to on my computer hard drive. And now I could just choose export. And what that's going to do is going to take each of the different cycle markers here and create four separate distinct audio files for each of them. And since I chose to export it directly into 
our project, we're going to see that automatically be placed in the same exact time position so that everything will be lined up. And we'll just take a second here. should be done in just a second. So we'll go ahead and copy those. I'll cancel this. And now we'll look down in our project and we can see our four different independent audio files from one project where I don't have to do it one by one. So you can see that exporting with cycle markers can really speed up your workflow process when working with classical music or large multi-song uh, live concerts. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.